the traditional owners of this land, the Turnbull people, who, uh, whose sovereignty has never been ceded and whose land has been occupied for over 200 years. I'd like to introduce our first speaker. He's uh, been with us from the start at Occupy Prison. He's been part of the organizing committee. Uh, I'd like to welcome Thomas to come up to the right. Morning everybody, glad to see us here. I wonder where the mayor is right now, I guess he's probably eating his words for breakfast or maybe lunchtime. We are still here and we won't be going away because we are sick of money talks. We're sick of hearing that expression over and over again and the state government needs to take notice that this is the people speaking. Hello, Anna. We are the people. We are not the corporation. And we will not go away until we get a fairer system. There are only two questions to ask. Do you think the system's fair? No. Do you want to see change? Yes. Then if you agree with those two statements, then you agree with what we are doing. And we are doing it for everybody in this country and all around the world to make a change, to make a better life for everybody that is not run by corporations. The Queensland government is a corporation. Brisbane City Council is a corporation. They have sold off everything they can get their hands on. What is they going to do when there's nothing left to sell? Sell us. Sell us. Yeah, that would be the next thing. So, Mayor, we are here to stay. Take notice, and the same goes for the government. Take notice. This movement will grow, and we will succeed. We are the 99%. We are. Yeah. 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 Our next speaker for the Transport and Workers Union, who are the center of one of the most high profile workplace disputes at the moment in Australia, this is Peter Pies to speak on the issue of the Qantas strike. Thanks a lot, people. I can't claim to be as uh, good a speaker as the last guy. He was pretty incendiary, but uh, I just uh, did my best to explain where the, where the uh, Transport Workers Union movement is at the moment in relation to the industrial dispute we're having with Qantas. We see it as a problem that's going to uh, Australia-wide for all workers because we're all uh, struggling for pay packets and increases and uh, job security, um, things like that that make things important, keep, keep food on the table, keep the roof over people's heads. And it's a struggle at, at the moment we're finding um, that we're trying to enlist what they make the public more aware of. Um, having jobs, as I'm saying, is 
once again important and if contracting them out means that uh, people lose terms and conditions and lose, lose uh, their ability to look after their families, keep rent, keep paying for their houses, things like that, it's going to lead to a further downturn in, in conditions for normal working Australians. So um, just trying to raise it to awareness, there is going to be uh, on, we, we've been, been locked in this industrial dispute for about eight months now. Uh, it, it came to a head last weekend when um, the bosses of Qantas and the board decided to, to shut it down, shut the ground the airline and basically hold Australian travellers to ransom. A disgusting state of affairs that we're going to try and rectify. But uh, it is a struggle, guys, and we want to make sure that you people are aware of it and are supportive of the normal day-to-day -day Australian Union member. Yeah. Thank you, Peter. Our uh, next speaker, I love to put a go in March, will be Cappy. <laughs> Yeah. This is our 
So we're just arriving at Post Office Square, where we're evicted from on Wednesday. There it is. They say it costs 30 grand for some new grass. First up, we're going to have some more speeches here before we march on to Queen's Park. And first up is Kate. Hello, guys. Welcome. <laughs> no, I only just found out last part that I was speaking, so I didn't actually prepare anything. But you know what? I'm just going to speak from my heart because that's. 
Where it comes from. Thank you, James. You're so hot. So, um, firstly, I want to say that, um, really, what has transpired over the last three weeks has been very beautiful. and diversities and our backgrounds all coming together. People have no idea. People that are high books, people that are mentally disabled, people that own companies and small business owners and families and the average Australian worker. You know, this is everybody. Yeah. Yeah. People that say that, you know, they can say whatever they want to say, but we know that we represent what we're here for, for our country, for the world. This is our planet. This is our planet. If we do not change now, when are we going to change? If we do not stand up together and be strong and say no and reclaim our power, when are we? a couple of weeks ago and I went up to um, a girl who is very beautiful and um, she's uh, mentally disabled. She's a young girl. Those of you that have been camping know who I'm talking about. She's absolutely beautiful. As I asked her, I said, what type of world would you like to live in? And she said to me, she said, I don't want to live in a, I want people not to live in a house, but I want them to live in a home. And she said, and no, I don't want any children to have to live on the street. That's what we're talking about. There was a man that came up to me. I was in the communications tent and he came up and he said, We had a Marlowe tent. And it's full of cigarette butts. And he said to me, Can I take this away? And I said, What do you want to take it away for? And he said, oh, I'm homeless and I'd like a cigarette. And I said to him, Well, ask someone, I'm sure that someone will give you one. And he said, No, that's okay because that's wasting. I'll just, you know, go away and have these. And he goes, and then I'll clean it out and I'll bring it back. And I thought to myself, okay, if you want to do that, do that. And he, he looks at me and he says, am I welcome here? And I said to him, darling, of course you're welcome here. I said, everyone's welcome here. Yeah. 